one epic battle. Cable internet versus fiber internet. Who will win? Oh, my internet's lagging. Oh, we got you. I'm froze up. I can't move. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Petty Jean Fiber, game-changing internet. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboys Chevrolet GMC in Heber Springs, the Lake Area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysChevyGMC.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal and free approval, then you can even purchase right there from your living room. Plus, we will even deliver it anywhere in the state. The service don't stop there. We also have a state-of-the-art service facility and collision repair center. So for all your automotive needs, come see us at Cowboys Chevy GMC in Heber Springs. Known as one of the best-kept secrets for championship golf in Arkansas, Indian Hills Golf Resort is known for its tree-lined fairways, deep bunkers, small slope greens, and the Indian Rock Cave off number 18 fairway. Located in beautiful Fairfield Bay, Indian Hills is an 18-hole championship layout course with four sets of tees for players of all abilities to enjoy the natural surroundings. Tee times fill quickly, so call 501-884-6018 to book yours today. Roof Tech of Heber Springs is a premier roof replacement company servicing commercial and residential customers in Central Arkansas. They specialize in insurance replacements for all roof types. Licensed, bonded, insured, and A-plus rated with Better Business Bureau and 5-star rated customer service. Free inspection and estimates. Check us out on Facebook at Roof Tech of Heber Springs, LLC. Since 1954, F.L. Davis Ace has proudly served the Greer's Ferry Lake area by providing the best hardware and home improvement needs to our customers. Stop by one of our six Arkansas locations in Greer's Ferry, Heber Springs, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, or Centerton, and let us show you why we're more than just a hardware store. We have something for everyone, and you won't believe what we have to offer. Need a new mower? We've got you covered. Need it repaired? No problem. From custom paint matching to the best brands in grilling, F.L. Davis Ace has got it all. We're also home to the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, furniture, home decor, gift items, and so much more. Come by and see us today, and let us show you why F.L. Davis Ace is not your typical hardware store. When it comes to the integrity of your roof, it takes a knowledgeable team to ensure a truss has been properly installed with sturdy materials that will last. Family owned and operated with over 17 years experience, the team at Nap Trust will provide customizable premium trust installation services at a fair price. Nap Trust prides themselves on the final product they deliver which will stand the test of time. For quality trusses built to last, contact Nap Trust at 870-948-2105 to schedule your project estimate today. I'll tell you what, I don't think you can go wrong with this service. Right away I noticed it, it was like, wow, how can it be this fast? The installer came and he did just a super guy. The beauty of it is I'm getting better service, saving money, Man, you can't go wrong there. Internet starting at $69.99. Petty Jean Fiber. Better service, better pricing. Welcome to the good life.
my name is Margaret, and I'm a quilter, tried and true and addicted. <laughs> yes, I love having my grandkids come over. Uh, there can be five or six of them sitting around hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Through the Wi-Fi, I can connect with my smartphone and save some dollars there, and also I use it for my laptop. Internet starting at $69.99. Petty Jean Fiber. Welcome to the good life. Mom, can we go to Woodland Mead Park? What's that? It's a park in Fairfield Bay with two miniature golf courses, disc golf, shuffleboard, volleyball, and basketball courts. And that's all in Fairfield Bay? Yep. I guess we can go check it out. Woodland Mead Park is located on Dave Creek Parkway in Fairfield Bay. At American Safeguard Insurance, our job is to make sure you understand exactly what you need so you're covered if your worst case scenario becomes a reality. We offer a variety of coverage options, including personal and commercial insurance, so that your home and business are covered no matter what. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. I know the last three years people have got accustomed to paying sticker price for a brand new vehicle. Well, it's not that way anymore at Red River Ram. If you're looking for a Ram truck, we've got heavy duty four wheel drive trucks starting at $49.5 or up to $12,000 off sticker price for a Cummins diesel. And we've got $11,000 off Ram 1500 Bighorn four wheel drive trucks. If you want the best selection and the best buying experience, make that beautiful drive right here to Heber Springs. Now during Ram Power Days. internet versus fiber internet who will win oh my internet's lagging oh got you i'm froze up i can't move oh yeah oh yeah petty gene fiber game changing internet Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboys Chevrolet GMC in Heber Springs, the Lake Area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysChevyGMC.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal and pre-approval, then you can even purchase right there from your living room. Plus, we will even deliver it anywhere in the state. The service don't stop there. We also have a state-of-the-art service facility and collision repair center. So for all your automotive needs, come see us at Cowboys Chevy GMC in Heber Springs. Known as one of the best kept secrets for championship golf in Arkansas, Indian Hills Golf Resort is known for its tree-lined fairways, deep bunkers, small sloped greens, and the Indian Rock Cave off number 18 fairway. Located in beautiful Fairfield Bay, Indian Hills is an 18-hole championship layout course with four sets of tees for players of all abilities to enjoy the natural surroundings. Tee times fill quickly, so call 501-884-6018 to book yours today. Roof Tech of Heber Springs is a premier roof replacement company servicing commercial and residential customers in central Arkansas. They specialize in insurance replacements for all roof types. Licensed 
bonded, insured, and A-plus rated with Better Business Bureau and five-star rated customer service, free inspection, and estimates. Check us out on Facebook at Rooftech of Heber Springs, LLC. Since 1954, F.L. Davis Ace has proudly served the Greer's Ferry Lake area by providing the best hardware and home improvement needs to our customers. Stop by one of our six Arkansas locations in Greer's Ferry, Heber Springs, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, or Centerton, and let us show you why we're more than just a hardware store. We have something for everyone, and you won't believe what we have to offer. Need a new mower? We've got you covered. Need it repaired? No problem. From custom paint matching to the best brands in grilling, F.L. Davis Ace has got it all. We're also home to the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, furniture, home decor, gift items, and so much more. Come by and see us today, and let us show you why F.L. Davis Ace is not your typical hardware store. When it comes to the integrity of your roof, it takes a knowledgeable team to ensure a truss has been properly installed with sturdy materials that will last. Family owned and operated with over 17 years experience, the team at Knapp Trust will provide customizable premium trust installation services at a fair price. Knapp Trust prides themselves on the final product they deliver which will stand the test of time. For quality trusses built to last, contact Knapp Trust at 870-948-2105 to schedule your project estimate today. I'll tell you what, I don't think you can go wrong with this service. Right away I noticed it, it was like, wow, how can it be this? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's Lake Area Sports Volleyball Broadcast. I'll be your play-by-play -play man this evening, Richard Sharp, as we are coming to you live from Rambler Arena on the campus of Rosebud High School in Rosebud, Arkansas, as the Lady Ramblers are set to host the visiting Valley Springs Lady Tigers. This is a 3A Northwest Conference game as Rosebud is 5-7 on the season. They are 2-4 in conference. As for the Lady Tigers, they have put together quite a 2023 campaign thus far, standing at 16-2 overall and 5-0 in conference. As... Starters will exchange hands, handshakes here. We'll go over those starting lineups. We'll start with the visitors. The Lady Tigers of Valley Springs. We've got number three, Jocelyn Qualls. Number five, Macy Willis. Number seven, Cammie Moore. Number 10, Katie Henson. Number 13, Eliza Drury. And number 15, Taylor Trammell. For the home team on the scoreboard, the Lady Ramblers of Rosebud, we have number one. Or excuse me, number number five, Kanan Compton. Number eight, Molly Barnett. Number 15, Sonny Bean. Let's see who... Number 12, Taylor Wilhite. Number 24, Alana Sarton. I believe I got everybody. Number one, Addie Bishop, if I didn't say her name. And I believe that's the six for Rosebud. Valley Springs will serve first. It'll be Henson. That'll get it lined up. And here's her first serve. And it gets across the net. Here's Rosebud now. Getting it over there was Bean. Henson sets it up for number five there, Willis. Now back across, Lady Ramblers out of bounds. It'll go on the hard hit there by Bean as the Lady Tigers take the first lead of this first set. Henson making her season debut tonight as she was sidelined the first 18 games of the season due to injury. But here she is tonight in the lineup 
for the Lady Tigers. Here she is setting it up for, bear with me with these numbers, number 15, Trammell. She got it over. Here's the Lady Tigers again. Bishop. Now to Will Hyde. Will Hyde over, gets it over for the Bud. Qual skies up. Nice stop there by Bishop. And softly hit and down it'll go for a point. That was Will Hyde coming through with the Lady Ramblers' first point of set one. 1-1, one, one, we are tied. Now here's Rosebud with the serve. That is Compton. And here's the third hit for Lady Tigers getting it over. Backwards hit by Bean. It finds Moore. Moore over. Low hit and unable to save it there. Going for it was Will Height. Lady Tigers go back up on top. And checking in here, it seems for the first time, will be number 12, Landry King. She will sub in for Qualls. Backwards hit there by Will Height. Here's a hard hit out of bounds. It'll go. That was a hard strike there by Eliza Drury, but it does not stay in bounds, and that will not us up at two apiece. Lady Tigers won their first 14 games of the season. Started out 14-0, went to a tournament, dropped back-to-back -back games, but they have battled back this week. They defeated Berryville 3-2. And Alpina in a clean sweep, three to nothing. It's for Lady Ramblers, they've had a little uh, bit more of a tougher go at it as there's a kill for Taylor Trammell. And that breaks our tie. Trammell will serve here. Right-handed strike over the net. Henson, Moore. And trying to save it there was Molly Barnett. And it goes into the stands. Hmm. Scoreboard says 3-3. I thought it was 4-2 as it'll be 4-3 now. On another out of bounds hit by the visitors. There's the serve from Will Height. And another out of bounds hit. Drury. Lady Ramblers go up by two. This is a very important match for the Lady Ramblers if they want to stay in the thick of things in that 3A Northwest Conference. As for the Lady Tigers, every game is important. You want to keep that goose egg alive in the conference standings. Keep that goose egg alive in the loss column. As they're going to give the point there. To Valley, Valley Springs. They cut it now to one. like Henson checked out. I want to see who came in for her. I had my head down. Sorry about that. I believe it was number 19, Re Reagan Helms. As Lady Ramblers come through with a point there. Serving up this one is Sarton. Sarton over the net. Great dive there to save it, Cambry Taylor. Cambry wearing the white uniform, white jersey top with green lettering. That means she is the libero this evening. Nice hit there, up and down it goes for Compton as Taylor was not able to save that one. Rosebud with their biggest lead of this first set at three. Willis, hard hit. 
As that one gets down, Compton not able to make anything out of that. Bear with me. This is the first volleyball game action I've called since the 3A state semifinals down the road in Searcy at Harding Academy uh, back in 2022, last school year. It's hard to believe that it's almost been a full year since that state tournament, but here we are. As they call infraction there on Rosebud, it brings. Valley Springs within one. And did it stay in bounds? It did. That was Bishop. There with the point. Just stayed in bounds. It's one of the toughest things as a line judge there to know right where that ball landed. And the line judge did his job, said that stayed in bounds. Moore. Just over the net. Moore has to go for it again. Setting it up for Qualls. Will Height. And a little bit too much mustard on that hit for Barnett. Eight to seven. Our score. Serving is Moore. The senior for Valley Springs, that being Moore. Landry King, also a senior. Drury, a senior. And Henson, a senior. As well as Destiny Harris. Looking at the seniors over here for Rosebud. One or two. No, excuse me. Three, four. Lily Poole, Kane and Compton. Zoe Andrews and Sonny Bean, they are all seniors. So a quartet of 2024 graduates there for Rosebud as they tack on two more points. Oh, sorry about that. Eight, nine to eight, sorry about that. A little rusty, I must say, <laughs> getting back in the swing of things. Will Hot skies up and there is a block there at the net by Valley Springs as they get the point. Not sure who that was. Mr. Official standing on top there. Tightly contested opening set here between these two conference mates as Henson will serve here. Ball booted up in the air by Rosebud. Henson sets it up for Qualls. Qualls! A deflection there. Point goes to the Lady Tigers as they are the first team in double digits tonight in any set. And they reclaim the lead. They had faced a deficit as much as three at one point here. But they have battled back and lead by one. Make it two now. Good effort there by Andrews, but it sells out of bounds over to the uh, – and the bleachers here on the guest side. Henson another serve. Hit up in the air by Barnett. And that one has trouble staying in bounds. As now Valley Springs finds themselves with a three point advantage. Andrews will hide. Henson just over the net, it gets down as two Lady Ramblers were there at the net, but nothing doing there for the home team. As Coach Joey Pruitt's going to call a timeout here for the Lady Ramblers. They now trail it 13 to 9. Let's take a quick timeout here. We'll be back after this word from Roof Tech out of Heber Springs. Roof Tech of Heber Springs is a premier roof replacement company servicing commercial and residential customers in central Arkansas. They specialize in insurance replacements for all roof types. Licensed, bonded, insured, and A-plus rated with Better Business Bureau and five-star rated customer service. Free inspection and estimates. Check us out on Facebook at Roof Tech of Heber Springs 
LLC. And we are back here out of the timeout. As you see there on your scoreboard, Valley Springs leads it on the road here against Rosebud in Rambler Arena, 13 to nine. This is the first set. Katie Henson with the serve and she gets the point. Looks like a little miscommunication there for the Lady Ramblers out of the timeout. Ms. Henson will retreat back. Here's another serve for her. Hit over the net by Compton for Rosebud. Henson to Willis. Henson again, now sets up Trammell and that stays in bounds. Point to the Lady Tigers. We had some junior high and JV action a little earlier. Well, we have reached our nightcap here. Senior varsity play. Hard hit, great dig there by number eight, Barnett, but it goes out of bounds. Lady Tigers with a seven point cushion looking to make it eight right here. As for the Lady Ramblers, they found themselves with an early three point lead, but they have fallen behind here. It's been a big run by the visitors. As now, as that shot goes out of bounds, Lady Ramblers break into double digits, trailing by six. Willis, and just deflected off the hand there of Barnett. Valley Springs continuing their onslaught in this first set. For those that don't know that are watching, Valley Springs up there near that Harrison area. Shout out to my great friend, Scott McDonald, the sports editor up there for the Harrison paper. Some substitutions here for Rosebud. Good return by Barnett, but another shot goes out of bounds for the hosts. Trammell takes her hand at a serve here. Over the net it goes. Nice little shot there over the net by Compton. And that one will hit the net and stay on the side of Valley Springs. That was Drury trying to get that one over, unable to. Eighteen to twelve, our score here in this opening set. As you see on your scoreboard, as now it is eighteen thirteen. Looks like Will Height just lost track of that one. Sarton trying to make something out of it, and she's unable to. 20 points on the scoreboard now for the Lady Tigers. Battle there between Bishop and it looked like Moore at the net. As Moore's hit gets down, that's a kill there for Cammy Moore as it just stays inbounds. Valley Springs needing four points here to take this first set. Drury skies up and gets it down for the point. Three points away now is Valley Springs. Again, Valley Springs 5-0 in conference. They are unbeaten, setting the top 
that 3A Northwest. They are 16-2 overall. A strong campaign. Won their first 14 games of the season. Double-digit advantage now for Valley Springs. And out of bounds it goes off the hit from Will Height. Will Height, a junior. And here is the set point for the Lady Tigers. And right time, right place there was Bean as Taylor the Libero gets it over. Now Sarton to Bishop, and it gets down for a point. Much needed point there for the Lady Ramblers. They get it. They still trail here by 10. Keeping this set alive. Taylor, ready to return fire. Out of bounds. Drury. Back-to-back -back points here for Rosebud. Much needed. If they're going to look to get back into this one, but Lady Tigers are trying to slam the door on it. And they will as that one deflects off the hand of Sarton. And that's how the first set will end as Valley Springs will take it 25 to 15 and go up one to nothing as we'll get that added here. There we go. All right, both teams will talk it over in their huddles. They've got about a minute, 45 seconds. We'll take that time to thank some more of our great sponsors. We'll get it going here with Cutting Edge Welding and fabrication out of Quitman right down the road. Be right back here on Lake Area Sports. Welcome back here as we get prepared to get this second set underway. Lady Tigers defeat the Lady Ramblers in set one, 25 to 15. A double digit advantage there for the visitors donning their green jersey tops with white lettering, white stripes down the side. Rosebud donning their white uniforms with red and black lettering. Got some red going down the side as well. Rosebud will serve first here. It'll be the senior, Kanan Compton. Her service in there. Over the net it goes. Great dive there by Qualls to get on the floor. And here comes Moore. Moore over to Reagan Helms and first point of set two will go to Valley Springs. They get the point there. Henson lines it up over the net. Bishop over to Sarton and a little bit too much on that hit. Gonna have to find a way to put not as much force on the volleyball, especially with as tight dimensions as there are out there. Lady Tigers turn a 2-0 advantage into a 3-0 advantage as Lady Ramblers fail to get it across the net. They get it caught in the net, actually. Henson to Will Height. 
The Ramblers, nobody there is down for the kill. I believe that was... I believe that was Trammell. Could be... Yep, it was Trammell. Trammell got the kill there. Makes it four to nothing here in this second set. Will High denied at the net as it'll be blocked there. Lady Tigers showing they don't mess around even after a first set as they lead it here. Five nothing, make it six nothing as Qualls comes through at that point. They are picking up right where they left off in that opening set. Getting it over there was Compton. Hard hit out of bounds by Qualls. Point goes to the Lady Ramblers. For the Lady Ramblers, that was a much needed point. Just any way they can to get on the board, whether it be a kill or, or an out of bounds shot by Valley Springs. They needed that point as they're going to get another one there. Off that serve from Bean. Oh, but she puts a little too much on that one that time. And Valley Springs will take over the volleyball, leading 7-2. to As Qualls will come out. And in for her, number 12, Landry King. Bishop, backward shot. It found Compton, as Compton will get that point there, it looks like. Henson over to Drury. Now over here on Rosebud's side. Now back over to Valley. Henson sets it up for... Trammell. Willis. Just soaring it over the net there. For Valley Springs was Drury. Willis. Bishop. Good back and forth action right here on this series. Neither team giving up. This is what you like to see in volleyball. Nice. Right time, right place there for Will Height. Compton to Bishop and met at the net. Lady Ramblers get it across. Lady Tigers return fire as that point will go to Rosebud. Bishop. Great effort by both squads there on that series. So we have a three-point separation between these two here in the second set. Bean, Barnett, Henson, Willis, Barnett again. Henson sets it up for Drury. She lines it up and keeps it inbounds. Point to the visitors. Trammell serves it up. Bean. And just getting it over in time was Moore. Making it nine to four. Out of bounds hit by the Lady Ramblers. Is that 
Lady Tiger bench is fired up over there on the sideline opposite of us. Coming through with some chants. You usually don't hear chants like that unless they're cheerleaders until softball season. Did that one stay in? No, it did not. Lady Ramblers just need a run here of some sort to cut into this deficit. Hard fall there for Cami Moore. She seems to be okay, but she has to check out. Hopefully nothing too serious. As checking in for her, it's number nine, Lillian Fairchild. As Henson will also check out and in for her, number 19, Reagan Helms. Here's the serve from Willis. She's played a good game so far. Bishop, and it hits the front of the net. Down it goes, point to Valley Springs, who now lead it 12 to five. Missed the point moments ago. Bishop, great dig there by Taylor, the libero. And it looks like Coach Pruitt's going to call for another timeout. His team now trails 13-5 to in the second set. How about we take the timeout with them? We'll thank another one of our great sponsors. Here is a word from ASI Insurance. Be right back here from the bud on Lake Area Sports. At American Safeguard Insurance, our job is to make sure you understand exactly what you need so you're covered if your worst case scenario becomes a reality. We offer a variety of coverage options, including personal and commercial insurance, so that your home and business are covered no matter what. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. Turned back out of the timeout, 13 to five. Valley Springs leads Rosebud here in this second set of this 3A Northwest Conference battle. Valley Springs leads the series one to nothing as Rosebud will get on the board out of that timeout. King, Point Rosebud. Just over the net for, there for Valley Springs was Helms. And oh, great save, but that's the fourth hit. Way to keep it off the floor, unfortunately. You're not given more than three. If you can't get it over in three, and that's a penalty, and the point goes to the Lady Ramblers. Backwards hit there for Willis. Just grazing it over the net. Bishop. You know, looks like some indifference, an infraction, touching of the net there, perhaps by Lady Tigers. Rosebud within four here in set two. They're showing new life. That was Sarton and another point for the home team.
Moore in, Fairchild out. Here's a hard hit well out of bounds there for Drury. Lady Ramblers continue their run. Seemed like that timeout helped a bit. I say a bit. Actually it helped a lot now within two here. Tying this game, or tying this set, I should say. And now they're within one as Helms can't keep it inbounds. Barnett with a serve. And we are tied now. How about the Lady Ramblers here showing new life out of the timeout they taken moments ago. Willis. Taylor and the Lady Ramblers for the first time in this second set have the lead. 14-13. Lady Tigers have been on a cold spell as of late, but they could break out of it just like that with a point right there. That's what good teams do right there. And obviously Valley Springs, a very good team. That's what good teams do. When, when they give up a big run, they can answer right back and, and not the set back up, 14 all. And they do it right there. Drury, the serve. Out of bounds. Lady Ramblers will have the next serve. It'll be Bishop. Bishop to Drury. Drury can't get it over the net as Willis was there, but she's not able to do anything with it. And scoring off the serve there is Moore. Just like that, we are knotted back up 16 all. Lady Ramblers prepare for the serve. Hands on knees. Here it comes. Keeping it inbounds. Compton to Andrews. Andrews the libero. She is in the black uniform top for the Lady Ramblers with red and white lettering. Red down the side. As her team leads at 17-16. Andrews able to keep it inbounds there. Bean. Andrews again, now Compton, and point goes to the visitors. Looks like getting that point was Trammell. She has quite the frame, which I know she does play basketball too, but for a girl with those, with that height and long arms she has, she, she poses a threat. Eighteen to seventeen, Lady Tigers reclaim the lead. Both sets have been back and forth. Remember the first one started back and forth early. Lady Ramblers had to battle back in this second set, and now they trail by two. Henson back in the game serves it up. Nice dig there to keep the play going for Lily Poole. Lily Poole played in the JV game, wore number three, but in this game she's wearing number 18. She changed her jersey number. As she'll come out and back in is Barnett. Lady Ramblers cut it to one. Try to go for the tie here, and they will get the tie. Henson couldn't do anything with it. Neither could Qualls. It went out of bounds under the net. 19-19 here in set two. Moore 
Qualls. Compton setting it up for Will Height and too much on that hit. They have a Valley Spring substitution back in is King. She will replace Qualls. Will Height over the net for Rosebud. Compton, excuse me, actually that was Bean, as Rosebud still has it here. Henson knocks it up, Drury, and unable to save it there was Barnett, 21-19 now. King just gets it over the net. And third hit for Rosebud. Compton over, back over it goes. Henson, nice little play there to get it over the net near two Lady Ramblers. Oh, man, off the face there. Hard take by Andrews, but give her credit. She keeps it up, or keeps the volleyball up from hitting the floor. As getting point there is the Lady Tigers. Landry King out of bounds. Tightly contested second set here, 22-20. Will Height. The serve out of bounds. And Coach Pruitt is going to take another timeout. Coach Pruitt in his seventh season at the helm of the program. Let's take that timeout with him. Thank another sponsor. Here's Community Water System out of Greer's Ferry, right down the road from here. And we are back out of the quick timeout. 23-20, Valley Springs leads Rosebud here in the second set of this 3A Northwest volleyball battle. Valley Springs with the serve. Ball goes off the backboard in the in center court as Lady Ramblers draw to within two. Oh, and that one's going to be short of getting over the net on the serve from Sarton. This is the – oh, but Aunt, uh, right back with a serve that doesn't get over the net, right back with one of her own there is Willis. As for Valley Springs, that could have been the set point. Instead, we play on here. And they are going to get the point, and they go up two to nothing in sets. On that point, 25-22. So it is two to nothing. Lady Tigers now lead the set total over the Lady Ramblers. That was a tightly contested second set there, and the Lady Tigers were able to battle back and hold on, and they are a set away from getting their 17th victory on the season as well as their sixth win in the conference. So we'll see 
how the third set unfolds when we come back. We'll take another quick commercial break, and we'll return here to you from Rambler Arena after this word on Lake Area Sports. Big thanks to our corporate sponsor this year, Petty Jean Fiber, our title sponsor. Big thanks to them. Here they are. One epic battle. Cable internet versus fiber internet. Who will win? Ah, oh, my internet's lagging. Oh, we got you. I'm froze up. I can't move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Petty Jean Fiber. Game-changing internet. And we have returned here to Rosebud here at Rambler Arena. Lady Ramblers playing host to Valley Springs Lady Tigers. Katie Henson with the first serve of set three as we're underway here. Lady Tigers a set win away from winning the match. As for Lady Ramblers, they need one here to force a fourth. They need a victory here in this set. And they start on the right foot there as Bean with a block there at the net. Will give the Lady Ramblers the early advantage. Kanan Compton serving for Rosebud. And it stays in bounds. Nice kill there from Macy Willis. The junior comes through with a big point. Knots us up at one apiece. As it looks like King will check in for Qualls. In possession of the volleyball, set to serve here is King. Gives the ball a couple bounces, and here's her serve with the right hand. And ready and waiting there was Will Hyde. Will Hyde over the net, and down it goes. Point to Rosebud. Bean. Nice dig there from Drury. Compton now to Will Height. Drury. Back and forth they go here. Barnett. Down it goes. Another point for the home team. Lady Ramblers need a set win here to force a fourth set. And it goes out of bounds, last touch there by Bean. Lady Ramblers have some size in the back with Bishop, Bean, and Wilhite. They have some, can't forget Barnett, she's a, she's a tall girl herself. And Sarton out there, she brings a lot of, a lot of height and size as well. You look over here on Valley Springs side. Valley Springs known so traditionally for being so great at, at basketball, boys and girls. They've got a lot of height as well. You look at Taylor Trammell standing at 5'11 on the roster sheet, that is. So we got us a one point differential here, four to three. Look over at uh, Eliza Drury. He's got height too. High fives all around for the Lady Tigers. We've got the score wrong. Sorry about that. Five to three. Valley Springs leads it. They are a set win away from taking the match. They have been resilient here, facing runs, facing droughts, but they still. Are up 2-0 in sets, two to nothing. And that one sells out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Tigers. 
Hey, hey. <laughs> Five, four, our score. On the third hit, it's Bishop getting it across. Drury there to meet it. It's Barnett on that hit from Rosebud, for Rosebud. Bishop. And another point for the Lady Ramblers. 5-5. Five, five. Will Height. Henson just over the net. She gets it. The point goes to the visitors. As I mentioned, Valley Springs, multiple, and I mean multiple state championships in basketball. Great brand of basketball played up there near that Harrison area. It's for Rosebud, they have put some gold in the trophy case in softball in recent years. As what a great score there for Bishop. She stood tall after coming through that point. And she celebrates with her teammates. 6-6. Six, six. Great deflection is... Returning fire there with the block. Bishop going against Drury. And that breaks our six to six tie. Serve for Sarton. Moore. Now Compton. And it gets down for a point for Valley Springs. I believe that was Helms there. Drury, and it's just missed there. Just missed by Bean, slipped through, and was able to get by her for the point. So scoring off the serve there is Drury. She'll try again here on another serve. She'll give it another go. Gets it over the net, finds Bishop. Bishop, high arcing hit. Over and down it goes. They'll give the point to Rosebud. Barnett out of Taylor. And skying up out of bounds. Cammie Moore. It's interesting that these two are conference mates in volleyball because they are not conference mates in basketball if I'm if I'm thinking right, I believe that's correct. Is Lady Tigers get another point? Back and forth, they've continued to go here. More. Great save there by Drury. As that was Qualls out of bounds, it went. Despite being down two sets to none, Lady Ramblers have showed some fight this evening from home in front of the, the hometown faithful. But credit Valley Springs, they've been resilient, answering run after run from the Lady Ramblers. And they're set away from leaving White County with a vi another victory. It'll be their 17th victory and sixth conference victory. 11 to nine, Rosebud on top. And 11-10 now, as Bean couldn't get it over the net. Both teams in double digits now up on the scoreboard.
Henson. Another great save there. That one from Moore. Will Height. Willis. A little deflection there on at the net. This one hit up. Third hit. Here it comes. Qualls getting it over. Return fire Compton. And having to make a move. Ball low. Henson couldn't get to it or get it over. Neither could Moore. 12 to 10. Lady, Lady Ramblers are going to have to fight hard as they now lead by three. They're going to have to fight hard to force a fourth set. But they do have a three-point lead here. Drury, another hard hit, out of bounds. Four point lead now for the Lady Ramblers. Do not count these Lady Tigers out. We've already seen what they could do facing a deficit. They could go on a big run of their own after giving up one. They can answer right back with one of their own as they fall behind here by five. They will be a tough out for anybody come postseason. They have played some quality, and I mean quality opponents, over the course of the year. They've played in some in some pretty big tournaments, and 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 you you only get better by playing quality opponents like that. Is there's a a point for Bean? Later Ramblers continuing to add on to this lead. They have a six point cushion. Hints into Qualls and another point for Rosebud. Compton the serve. Andrews calls for it. She lobs it up there. Volley's up for Compton. Henson and smack down there by Trammell. She'll be given the point there. Much needed point there to end the drought for Valley Springs. Valley Springs coached by Kelsey Robinson according to uh, Scorebook Live. This is her first season at the helm. And what better way to start a season, a first season at the helm is Coach Robinson's Lady Tigers get that point there. Draw to within five. What better way to start the year than winning your fir f first 14 matches of the year and you're still unbeaten in conference at 5-0. and oh. Bean. There's Willis. Henson to Trammell. Trammell getting it across for the visitors. Trammell again. Henson. Up and over, Drury, and it deflects off of Rosebud. I believe that was off of Lily Poole. As that one goes out of bounds, Poole stays away from that one. There is that fired up sideline again. The bench over there for Valley Springs showing their approval there on that point by their team. Will Height. Barnett. 
Barnett will try it again. Will High, too much mustard on that one. Out of bounds. Lady Tigers cut it to three here in this third set. There's Trammell's serve. And Andrews had to dive deep down for that one. She got to it. Lady Ramblers give up the point there. Two points separate both of these squads. They have played a great game. They have both have fought hard, answered each other's runs. But only one will walk out of here with the victory tonight as the Lady Ramblers are trying to keep this game alive and force a fourth set. And they have been tested all night long by this battle-tested Lady Tiger team as that one deflects off of Rosebud. Nobody there to get it. as the Lady Tigers will look to tie things up right here. Trammell another serve. That was Andrews. And they will tie it up. Andrews comes to meet the ball. Will Height. Cross. There's Will Height, right time, right place for her. She's going to send it over on the setup from Sarton, and it is not able to be returned there by Valley Springs. This is a tooth and nail. Both teams have fought tooth and nail in these last two sets. As Lady Ramblers get their 20th point, of set three there, elite by two now. Henson over the net for the Lady Tigers. And that one hit too hard there by Barnett. Out of bounds in the backcourt it goes. Willis. Compton, Barnett, and Taylor has made some great stretch plays here tonight. She is really dope for the ball. There's another great play from her as the ball goes out of bounds. Last hit by her, but, man, give her credit. Tip your cap to her. She has made some great plays out there, great dives for her squad as now they trail by two here. And trying to come through with a dig there was King. She's unable to get to it just short as that point off the serve will go to Sarton. 22-19. Drury gets over Compton. Bishop just over the net it goes. And out of bounds. Deflected over near the scores table. 23-19, Lady Ramblers two points away from taking this third set and forcing a fourth. We'll see if they're able to do it here. Now one point away as Helms gets caught in the net. Willis. Oh, and last touch there by Bishop as the ball falls to the floor there. No one from Rosebud able to keep it alive. Lady Tigers keep the set going here with their 20th point. As you see on your screen there, now down by four. Lady Ramblers trying to put the nail in the coffin here. They nearly did it there. Lady Tigers keep it alive. And that's going to do it for the third set as the Lady Ramblers 
hold off the Lady Tigers, take it 25-20. And that makes it two sets to one now. We will have a fourth set coming up here in about two minutes. So in the meantime, let's thank some more sponsors, pay some more bills. Here is Roof Tech once again. Roof Tech of Heber Springs is a premier roof replacement company servicing commercial and residential customers in central Arkansas. They specialize in insurance replacements for all roof types. Licensed, bonded, insured, and A-plus rated with Better Business Bureau and 5-star rated customer service. Free inspection and estimates. Check us out on Facebook at Roof Tech of Heber Springs, LLC. All right, welcome back here. As you see on your screen there, Lady Ramblers take the third set, 25 to 20, in a back and forth affair. Now we've got fourth set coming up here as Rosebud will serve first. It'll be Kane and Compton. He will send the first one on its way. And here we go. Oh, and that one nearly into the stands, deflected off of the hand of Cammie Moore. The Lady Ramblers start the fourth set just how they started the third set with the first point for either team. Bishop. On Compton. Compton now to Bean, and she gets the big point right there on that kill. Lady Ramblers have shown new life after going down two sets to none. They battled back, fought hard, took that third set by five points as they lead here now two to one, Valley Springs. Gets their first point up on the scoreboard here. Katie Henson with the serve. Henson making her season debut as she has been sidelined side with injury in the first 18 games, first five conference games for the Lady Tigers as they tie it 2-2, and she'll serve again. Shout out again to Mr. Scott McDonald. He's been watching tonight on the stream. Uh, head sports editor there at Harrison. Scott, the uncle of Miss Katie. As Scott is also a Valley Springs graduate himself, so he's watching his alma mater and one of his teams he covers up there in that Harrison area as the Lady Tigers celebrate that point there and take their first advantage here and set four, three to two. Compton. Oh, and met immediately at the net. Trammell, give her that point as it's last deflected. Off the Lady Ramblers. It's a 4-0 run since giving up the first two points for Lady Tigers. Henson over to Willis. Skying up, Qualls. Good return fire there from Barnett. Henson again, back over. Last touched by Rosebud. And another point, make it a 5-0 spurt now. Will Hyde over for, gets it over for Rosebud. Willis. Going for the strike there was Bean. And 
glass deflected off of Drury. It would have been a tough play to make for Valley Springs, and it was. So they come up short of getting it back over the net. And that ends the 5-0 run for the Lady Tigers. As the Lady Ramblers scored the first two points of the game and led it to to zip, but now... Well, so I thought. I missed it seven to three. I missed a must have missed a point. It must have been six to three. Now it makes it seven three. So my apologies there. Moore tries her hand at a hit there. Henson to Trammel. Will Height. So King will hide again. Here she is to Compton. And a hard hit by Will Height. And it stays in bounds for Will Height. Credit her with the kill there. Will Height will serve. Just getting it over the net. Andrews. Barnett, Henson to Drury. Drury trying to go for the home run hit, and she'll get the point. Good, how are you? Good. Talking to Mr. Scotty Starkey there. Led the Lady Rambler softball program to a pair of state championships, 2017-2019. They made the finals four straight years from 2016 all the way to 2019. As I mentioned, they won it 17 and 19. The odd years were in their favor. Of course, can't mention Rosebud softball without mentioning Miss Jolie Mitchell, who enters her senior season in Austin at the University of Texas. She will play her final season there in the orange for or the burnt orange for the, the Lady Longhorns. As there's another point for the visitors, makes it nine to four. Jolie Mitchell has broken, either holds, broke many state records, including the home run record her senior year when they knocked off Genoa Central in the 2019 state championship game. With tears in her eyes, she rounded the bases there at Bogle Park. I was there at that game, was able to get some good pictures, but she she uh, broke the home run record in her final game of her career. And she is a former Max Preps National Player of the Year. She was that good, still is that good. As the lead has grown to seven for the Lady Tigers, 11-4. They have the advantage. We'll have another timeout here. Let's take it with them. Here is Indian Hills Golf Course out in Fairfield Bay. We'll be right back here on Lake Area Sports. Coverage brought to you by our title sponsor, Petty Jean Fiber. Known as one of the best kept secrets for championship golf in Arkansas, Indian Hills Golf Resort is known for its tree-lined fairways, deep bunkers, small slope greens, and the Indian Rock Cave off number 18 fairway. Located in beautiful Fairfield Bay, Indian Hills is an 18-hole championship layout course with four sets of tees for players of all abilities to enjoy the natural surroundings. Tee times fill quickly, so call 501-884-6018 to book yours today. And we are back here. 11-4 our score. Valley Springs leads Rosebud here from Rambler Arena in this 3A Northwest Conference Showdown. Lady Tigers trying to win this fourth set and win the match three to one. As for Rosebud, they're trying to knot it back up or trying to knot th this thing up two to two as they get a point out of the timeout courtesy of Addie Bishop. For all you football fans out there, we will have football here live and in living color on LakeAreaSports.com tomorrow night. We'll be live from Bulldog Stadium down the road in Quitman as the Bulldogs play host to the Newport Greyhounds in a 3A-2 conference battle. As for 
As for our other football contest, we will have the Rosebud Ramblers playing host to the Cedar Ridge Timberwolves in our Arkansas eight-man game of the week. You can find that game on YouTube. Follow us on social media, and we'll get keep you up to date on all that's going on in the Grish Ferry Lake area regarding high school athletics. We've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. We, we are on all the platforms. X, I may have said Twitter, I meant X. Still can't get over the fact it's named that. As Taylor, another great save for her. She has had a great night. As just over the net, getting it down. Right time, right place there for more. Valley Springs flirting with a double-digit lead here, 13 to five. They lead it by eight. Skying up for the hit, Drury. Oh, a big deflection there off of Andrews. Lady Ramblers can't keep it inbounds or get it across. And there's another point for Valley Springs. Compton, King, there's Andrews, the libero coming through that hit. Bishop lines it up, gets it over the net, return fire. Taylor, Willis, will hide another big deflection and another big point for the Lady Tigers. Now they have that double digit advantage they've been looking for, 15 to five. They have the upper hand. Sarton to Bishop. Bishop answers right back with a point of her own on that kill. Barnett, serve in the air. On the way it goes over the net. Taylor. Man, Taylor, is she is a great player. I only got to see these Lady Tigers once this year, but I can tell you she works really hard out there, as does the rest of her teammates. They, they're hard hitters. They do all the right things. I mean, what do you expect? Sometimes it's a classic case of tell me your record, I'll tell you how good you are. And they are 16-2, and two, knocking on the door 17-2, and 5-0 and in oh league play. I've mentioned it already a lot tonight, but that's the signs of a good team right there when you're able to be that consistent, especially when you win your first 14 matches of the year. Sarton sets up Bishop. Taylor, man, an, again, she comes through with another big save, a big hit there as that one unable to get over the net for Bean. Sixteen to seven. Drury dials it up, and here it goes on its way. Lily Pool in the game for Rosebud was the first Lady Rambler to get to that serve from Drury. That's the point. Is clipped on there by Valley Springs. Should be 17 to seven. Scoreboard is not updated yet. There it is. Jury another serve and getting to that one again is pull. As that one's just out of the reach there of Drury. Point to Lady Ramblers. Bishop serves it over the net. Taylor waiting. Bishop again. And Will Hyde. I believe that was Will Hyde. It was either Will Hyde or Bean. Whoever it was, the point goes to Rosebud. They're trying to claw their way back into this one. Now trailing by eight.
And Qualls keeps it inbounds. A big point there for the visitors. Moore. Over by Compton. As the point goes to Valley Springs, we're going to have another timeout here from Rosebud. Well, he'll take it with him. Here is UTV in the Bay there at Fairfield Bay. Looks like a lot of fun. Love to check that out sometime. Here we go. We'll be right back here on Lake Erie Sports. Coverage brought to you by our title sponsor this season, Petty Jean Fiber. And we're back out of the timeout. Big thanks to our title sponsor, Petty Jean Fiber, as well as the rest of our sponsors this 2023-24 this, uh, school season. As there's the 20th point for Valley Springs. They'll make the trek back up, back home, up north. Upon the conclusion of this one, there is a break there for the Lady Ramblers. They needed that point. They still trail by 10, 20 to 10. And last deflected there, or last touch by Bean as that point, I believe, will go to Qualls. Lady Tigers four points away from taking the victory here tonight from Rambler Arena. Henson checks back in, and she will serve it up upon checking in. Here we go. And point to Will Height. She was just able to get a hand there on the ball, her right hand, and nobody was there for Valley Springs to recover, and the point will go to Will Height there. Digging there was Andrews. There's no return fire there for Rosebud. Now Lady Tigers doubled up on the Lady Ramblers, 22 to 11. And out of bounds it goes. Will Height. Wasting no time there, getting to the line, ready for the serve. And Willis able to save from herself from running into the to the uh, official's ladder there. Lady Ramblers cut it to eight there. Unable to return fire was King there on that back row. Henson sets it up for Trammell. Calling for it, Barnett. Barnett, Bishop. Bishop. And unable to keep it inbounds. Lady Tigers, two points away. Andrews. To Compton. Here is Drury off the feed from Henson. Henson keeps it alive, finds more. Oh, and what a great hit at the net there for the Lady Tigers with the block. I believe that was Moore. I was unable to see there. Maybe the camera got it, but here we go. Set and match point here for. The Lady Tigers. 
Henson. Trammell just able to get it across. As that will do it, that's the game. Ball gets caught up in the net for Rosebud, and Valley Springs will take the victory here. Three sets to one on the road here from Rambler Arena. They win set four, 25 to 14, and they will improve their record to a strong 17 and two. They still sit atop the conference standings at six and zero. Oh. As for Rosebud, they will fall to five and eight overall and two and five in that 3A Northwest. Congratulations to the Lady Tigers on a hard fought victory and Lady Ramblers gave them fits all night long from the opening serve in set one. Valley Springs took the first set 25 to 15, then took the second set 25 to 22, tightly contested back and forth chess match, if you will. Right, Lady Ramblers down but not out of it, forced a, a, set, a fourth set 25 to 20. They were able to hold on before the Lady Tigers put the final nail in the coffin and won that fourth set 25 to 14. Two double digit set wins here for the visitors. So that will do it as I'll update there on the screen. Three sets to one. The Lady Tigers win it. They are a very great team. Again, won their first 14 matches of the season. Anytime you can do that, start that hot to the season, you are a good team and a good program. And and uh, despite losing back-to-back -back games in a tournament, they have now won three in a row. 17 and two, six and zero in conference. Rosebud again falling to five and eight, two and five as they prepare to tear down here. Uh, we're going to call it a night. Be sure and follow us on Facebook, um, on, on X, on Instagram, Snap, or not Snapchat, <laughs> uh, TikTok, YouTube. We have all the social media platforms. Follow us on there, and we'll keep you up to date on all the Grizz Ferry Lake area happenings in high school athletics. Uh, be sure and tune in tomorrow night. We'll have Friday night football action under the bright lights as Quitman will play host to Newport. Those two teams dueled it out twice, once in the regular season, once in the playoffs, the postseason, the second round of the playoffs. And right here we'll have action from the bud here as the Ramblers will take on the Timberwolves of Cedar Ridge in an eight-man conference uh, battle. So we'll have it here. We're going to call it a night here. Big thanks to all of our sponsors, Petty Jean Fiber, um, Petty, uh, Indian Hills Golf Course, Roof Tech, Nap Trust, Petty Jean Fiber, as I mentioned, Cutting Edge Welding, Community Water System, uh, UTV in the Bay, Petty Jean Fiber again, <laughs> ASI Insurance, Woodland, um, and uh, and Red River Dodge, cannot forget them. They are, are, they are our title sponsor for eight-man football action. Be sure and catch that eight-man game tomorrow. We have a game of the week every Friday night. We'd love for you to join us there on YouTube. We'll post all the links on all our social medias where you can get there easier from whichever social media platform you see the post on. So for myself, Richard Sharp, all of us at Lake Area Sports, we hope you have a great rest of your Thursday night. Be safe on the roads traveling home. We'll see you tomorrow night and we're going to end it here and we're going to thank our sponsors and we'll be back in action tomorrow night with some football uh, action. So we'll see you tomorrow night. Everyone good night. God bless and we'll see you next time.
I know the last three years, people have got accustomed to paying sticker price for a brand new vehicle. Well, it's not that way anymore at Red River Ram. If you're looking for a Ram truck, we've got heavy duty four wheel drive trucks starting at 49.5 or up to $12,000 off sticker price for a Cummins diesel. And we've got $11,000 off Ram 1500 Bighorn four wheel drive trucks. If you want the best selection and the best buying experience, make that beautiful drive right here to Heber Springs. Now during Ram Power Days,